Hi, I'm Alex Prout from I Have the Right To. I just wanted to give a special Father's Day message today to all the dads out there and to all of the wonderful kids that make us fathers. Um, I've got a little bit of a unique message this Father's Day and I'd love to just read it to you. Creating communities of love and respect, a Father's Day reflection. Father's Day is traditionally a time to celebrate fathers and father figures in our lives, acknowledging their love, guidance, and sacrifices. Most often, the day is spent with children giving gifts to and recognizing the lessons they have learned from their father. Cards are given that emphasize what fathers teach their children and the impact they have had in shaping their children's lives. While I'm hopeful that I've imparted some wisdom on my daughter throughout her young life, I'm certain she has taught me more about what it means to be a father, a man, and a human than I ever expected. This year, I approach Father's Day with a deeper and more poignant understanding of fatherhood, shaped by the courageous journey of my daughter, a survivor of sexual assault. Ten years ago, my world shattered. When my 15-year-old daughter shared that she was sexually assaulted, I felt paralyzed. I had failed in my role as a protector of my daughter, and I felt inadequate as a dad, helpless. Rage and anger were coursing through my being, an utterly useless emotion when trying to look after a child's well-being. Witnessing her unwavering bravery as she spoke out, not only for herself but also for other survivors, helped shake me from this paralysis. My maleness told me to be rageful, and to seek violent retribution against her perpetrator. Society told me to move on from this isolated incident. But my love for my daughter and my family told me something completely different. Once I allowed myself to listen and learn from my daughter, I felt I grew as a father. This opened me up to listening and learning from my two other daughters and my wife. The learning centered around true love and care for one another and not succumbing to baser feelings like revenge. This allowed me to truly listen to what she needed and led me to where I am today. As a middle-aged man, it was my daughter who helped me understand what true courage is, the importance of speaking out, and the need for being a force for positive change in a world that prefers silence. With her example, I was able to convert my despair into resolute commitment to understand the reasons for sexual violence, its impact on victims, and to bring about change. Little did I know how much I needed to learn and how complicit I was in engaging in a society that turned a blind eye to sexual violence. This learning inspired me to ded dedicate myself to a mission, educating boys and young men about what it truly means to be a good man. This journey has become a calling to foster environments where respect, empathy, and integrity are paramount, and consent is discussed and learned. Our boys digest too much toxic content from social media, setting unreal expectations and portraying an unbalanced version of what it means to be a man. One of the key lessons I've learned is the importance of being an upstander, not a silent bystander. It's essential to instill in our young men the strength to stand up against injustices, to support victims, and to speak out against behavior, behaviors that perpetuate harm. This requires teaching them to use their voices for positive change, just as my daughter did. Through the work of our nonprofit, I Have the Right To, we have been able to speak to thousands of boys across the country about aspirational masculinity, what it means to be a whole man in our world today. We speak about their part in combating sexual violence and how they can be part of the solution. We aspire to build communities that value love and respect above all. This means addressing socially constructed masculinity, standing up against locker room culture, challenging harmful stereotypes, and promoting healthy and respectful relationships. It involves having honest conversations about consent, empathy, and the impact of our actions on others. To my encouragement, I have been inspired by the reactions of boys and young men and their openness and eagerness to engage in these conversations. 
They want to learn more. They want to grow into good men. And they want guidance on how to get there. Just as I hope to leave an impact, they have surely impacted me. Father's Day is a reminder of the roles fathers can play in shaping our young people and the responsibility we bear to take action. It's also a reminder of what we as dads can learn from our young people as well. On this Father's Day, I want to express my eternal gratitude to my daughters who have shaped me into a better version of myself. Thank you.